I don't practice. Don't, don't talk that way about don't the Don't tell the other tables I said that. I say it. <laughs> you say that to every table. all the table. I can vouch for that. Yeah. I would love to throw the one under the bus. I know. <laughs> and you might. And, and Give me a chance. Give me a chance to throw one under the bus. Uh, Brenda, I got a question for you. Sure. I was a huge middleman fan. Oh, yeah. The, the tick reminds me a lot of the tone of the show. Yeah, me too. Do you, do you see some layers as well? Is it something that you brought your experience from? Yeah, I think now so. Now that you get to play this Yeah, I think I did, for sure. That was a really good uh, little bit of um, uh, sort of comedy superhero school for me to, to, to work with Javi and, uh, and that whole cast uh, and then to come into this sort of prepared already. Um, yeah, I totally see. In fact, when I was thinking, when I was trying to figure out how to talk about the show, particularly when it was done, and I was trying to explain it to people, I was saying, I can't think of anything that's on right now, tone-wise, live action, tone, that that I can compare it to. And the only thing that I could compare it to was, you know, whatever, 10 years ago, not 10, 8 years ago, um, was, was the minimum. And the funny thing is, too, just side note, I found a picture the other day on my computer of me, Mark Shepard, um, behind the scenes of the middle man, and he's wearing a Tiff t shirt. Oh, <laughs> uh, so look at this. Full circle. <laughs> so How much do, do the costumes uh, help? Because you have the you know, the sort of traditional superhero uh, Superman type of hero and a more of the anti-hero type. Uh, and yeah. Of course, the costumes a lot of it reflect that. How, how much is that part of getting into? They character? yeah they 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 do a lot of the work for us. I was just talking about it before there that they uh, you don't have to play the comedy and the weirdness and the awkwardness of it because the suit is doing a lot of that, for you, <laughs> particularly for me. Uh, I am wearing underwear uh, and a cape. But, um, so you don't have to play too hard. It does that for you. And I'm going to answer for Scott now. And I'm going to say that his script actually helps him a lot because it puts him in a really, really bad mood. And that works really well for Overkill. It's pretty accurate, yeah. And my head is exposed. I'm not wearing a mask. I'm, I don't have any gloves on. I don't have any contacts to put in, you know. It's a little hard to stand up sometimes and go upstairs. Oh, don't eat but, <laughs> but I can feel the cool breeze in my hair and on my neck. And that's, uh, that, you know, that puts Superior in a very serene, peaceful uh, mood. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's right. I mean, my, my costume, I, it's pretty overwhelming in general. It's a lot of layers. It's a lot of people involved in just getting it on. Um, vest and shocks and shells, and the mask. And there's a balaclava that was a word I learned on the show. Um, and the mask that goes over that. Um, and it's just instant sweat, just immediate sweat. You know, it, it, it is true in a way because you can work on scene. You know, you go, you, you know, it's senior shooting the night before you're working on it. You know, making sure you're ready. You know what's going on. You know. And then you get to set, you put all that stuff on, and these contacts where it makes everything blurry, and the balaclava, and the, the mask, and then it's almost like everything you've done, it doesn't matter, because it, you're, it's, you're in this alternate universe, um, and, and you're forced to kind of try to try to like bring what you worked on, but at the same time, you go with what, what you're given. And yeah, it, it, there were days where all I wanted to do was just wear, I wanted to wear just underwear. <laughs> like, uh, like, third day of shooting, I was like, can't wait till the next roll when I can just wear a t-shirt and shorts. <laughs> and I have to see a lot of uh, overkill from the headquarters and a lot of gadgets. And, uh, are we going to see some more what we might see in there? Uh, any more new gadgets? And new um, you, I mean, I will say you'll see some more over, uh, some more danger boats. Um, I'm trying to think, as far as gadgets, I, it's, it's, I'm trying to wrap my head around what was already happening in the first six episodes or the next six, and at the same time not spoil things. I will say yes, you'll see some more gadgets and some more Danger Boat. Danger Boat, because it is, becomes you know, a very important thing. Yeah, uh, your power sets are amazing. Your power set is amazing. I love your power set. How far do you think they're going to push it this season? Like, how far are they going to push Superior's power set? And, like, I mean, what you do with the coffee? I know, I mean, that's... <laughs> yeah, I hope... Um, yeah, I mean, I can't... I, can't, I want to answer that question so oh, badly. Okay. So <laughs> accurately. So, you know, we know we can. I can fly. We know I've got pretty, pretty good strength. 
coffee thing. Um, you know, I think in the second half of the season, what I can tell you is that uh, we actually see more of the cracks in the superior facade uh, than we see, um, you know, more uh, more powers. But that's not to say there aren't powers. There is still a really, really good one. That I'm not going to say better than the coffee thing. <laughs> it's up there. I think it's okay. close. Okay. I think it's close. It's not that. <laughs> I don't think anything is better than the coffee. Honestly, the coffee is amazing. So. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, sure.